neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 20. The Warhawks have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you've got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. This guy is very physical, and he does a good job of taking on blockers. Runs right for a nice game. There's it out to the right to the halfback. He's taken down at about the 31. Well, on third down, we expected them to go to the air, and they did just that, picking up the first down. talk about a dual threat guy this guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground here he goes and he's tackled after positive yardage that's good for a gain of five yards that brings him second and five from the 47 yard line second down in the shotgun and five wideouts. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. Coach is going to have to be happy with that one. The defender was in the right position to make the play. Just throws this one away. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Loaded too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Tackle after decent pickup. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. The Warhawks had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. And they make the stop right around the 30. That'll bring up third and inches. Now the defense didn't surrender much room there, but the run was still enough for the first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 32. They bring him down in the backfield. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time.
Vince is on it. To the 20, the 10, touchdown. Makes you nervous anytime a defender tries to pick up a fumble and run with it instead of just falling on it. Man, did it work out for him here for a big time play in the score. And he hits the PAT. Louisiana Monroe is ready to kick it away. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Gets out to about the 21. Well, let's see if the offense can make up for the misfortune they had just a few moments ago. They just gave the defense a gift by handing them the lead with that last interception. Now they've got to play from behind. Tackle made at the 42. down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. They'll drop him for a loss. tries to buy some time, and they get the sack. So the sack makes this third and very long. away here on second down. In your face. Pressure and run down. to the halfback on the screen. Tackle at the 37. Well, they get all those yards, but come up just shy of the first. Good play call, almost perfect execution, except for the fact that they're not going to get the first down. He makes his way to about the 28. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter, or blame the offenses for a lack of production. 7-0. Louisiana Monroe. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. And they get nice yardage on that run. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Taken down around the 13-yard line. 
They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. From the 13-yard line, it's first down. by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. Will be tied with the extra point. And he adds the extra point. It was an 11-play, 81-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Good open field tackle. This defense better start to get pressure on the quarterback. They're giving him way too much time back there to throw the football. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. He's hit and taken down. Scrambling around. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. That is great, tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. And he converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the three. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Got some open field. Gets to around the 42. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. First and ten. Ball on their own 42. Nice run there as they work the outside. down. He 
He's at the 30. He gets to about the 24-yard line. From the 24-yard line, first down.15-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Third down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's good enough to pick up the first down. He got by a couple of defenders and made it to the sticks for the first down. Here's the eighth play of the series. Now he's scrambling. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. So that sack sets them back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 10-yard line. So it's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Nebraska ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Warhawks right now are getting the play out of their quarterback that they expected, maybe even better than they expected. And now, as we get near halftime, there's going to have to be some adjustments made on the other side of the ball. Well, the defense has got to be happy we're getting close to halftime so they can go back to the drawing board and try to figure out a way to slow down this quarterback. I think that more often than not, you look back at the first half and you think about, okay, let's eliminate this, this, and this. And let's maybe try a completely different way of, of trying to attack them. In my opinion, they've got to take some chances and be more aggressive in trying to put pressure on them. What they've done so far hasn't worked. He's on the run. He's at midfield. There's a fumble. And they fall on the loose ball. He's taken down right around the 42-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 42-yard line. Louisiana Monroe is up by four. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. Great hands there by the wide receiver. Unfortunately for him, he couldn't get a foot down in bounds. Well, I think he came down with it, but from up in the booth, it's hard to tell. So the referee is going to take a look at several angles. Now, remember, he's seeing the same thing we are, and he needs indisputable video evidence to overturn the call. After review, you play. The ruling on the field is reversed. So after the review, they reverse the call on the field. First and 10, ball on the 18-yard line. Fires out to his wideout, and he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. 
makes it first and goal. He certainly did, Brad. This guy's a big-time threat inside the 10-yard line because of his size. He can outmuscle defensive backs for the ball. And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Taken from the three-yard line. He's taken down at the 28. The offense gets set to take the field. Last time out, they stuck it between the uprights for three. He scrambled. That's a great tackle at the 22-yard line. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit for the quarterback. We'll be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive linemen and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. So the sack makes this a second and long. Well, we've played a half of football. The Warhawks in front by 11. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports Halftime Show. Chris Davis and David Pollock here. David, I think both coaching staffs probably go to the locker room right now a little bit disappointed with the way their team has kind of gone flat in the first half. What do coaches need to do at halftime to try to pick up the energy of their team? Well, it's always a process where you say there were plays to be made that we didn't. And those guys have to come in there now explain, you're seeing what the defense or offense is giving you. Let's go out and attack, be more aggressive, make sure that we make those plays that are out there. Because there are plays to be made. We just got to do it as a player. Opportunity to win a big game. You've got to have that tingle going up your spine. Get ready to bring the heat in the second half. Nebraska's generated a touchdown in this one, and they'll be looking to get that offense going in just a bit. Going to send you out to the second half of your game. Brad and Kirk on the call. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Oh, man, did he take a hit. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Right down around the 21 yard line. That brings up second and nine. From their own 21 yard line. Second down. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. They'll bring him down at the 26. Taken down at the 32. They're two for two in finding the end zone on their last two drives. Let's see how they do here. He's scrambling. Tackle made at about the 41. They come out in a five-wide set. That play was over before it got started. 
That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. He's going to try and scramble. And he's level at the 37 yard line. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. it out to maybe the 30-yard line. The offense will be hoping for a little more success than they had the last time out. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Runs right for a nice game. From their own 34 yard line. Second down. And he tackles him hard at the 47. here and again great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver we've got a first and ten all on the 37 yard line so an empty backfield with five wide receivers That did more than just put six points on the board. It takes a lot of pressure off the offensive coordinator when the man under center can show that he's a dual threat. And he hits the PAT. A four-play, 70-yard drive. And the result, seven points. The score now, 21-17. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. Louisiana Monroe holds a four-point lead. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle at about the 27-yard line. That's good for a game of two yards. That makes it second to minute. go ground runs it right nice pickup that's good for a game of five yards third down and he's immediately tackled seven-yard line. Second down. Scrambling around. And he is drilled at the 
Throws a bullet over the middle. And he's taken down at about the 49. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Louisiana Monroe is up four. Now he's scrambling. He dives and he'll be marked down. This is the ninth play of this drive. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. Tackle after positive yardage. He's on the run. Inside the 10. Big play, and it's first and goal. That makes it first and goal. He's tackled at the three-yard line. And it looks like this one's going to come down to the final quarter. The Warhawks lead it by four. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Strike to the receiver, touchdown. Still a long ways to go here in the fourth quarter, but that score has certainly put them in a great position to win the football game. And he adds the extra point. So a 12-play, 74-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run in the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So the score now, 28-17. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. Makes it after about the 40. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play action pass. From their own 40 yard line, first down. Gets to about the 41 yard line. Scramble. And they got it. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Third down now, and they need to get it out to midfield.
knocked out of bounds at the 42. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Hands off and not much room there as they try to work the left side. tailback on the screen and he shoved out of bounds around the 34 yard line balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds Him hard at the 21 yard line. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Less than three minutes in the game. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He laterals, and they push him out around the one-yard line. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Still got a chance in this game. And they're looking to get two points here. this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just under two to go in the game. Hand off up the middle. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Nebraska will take their first time out of the half. From the 32-yard line, it's second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Nebraska is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Nice run there as they work the outside. Well, the execution of this offense has been on display here in this drive. They know what they needed to do, and that's pick up the first down, work the clock, and finish this game off. And with that first down, they may have done it. That's a great tackle at the 21. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 21. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Oh, 
Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, Louisiana Monroe, 28, Nebraska, 25. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.